Ba, 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 ba. Hey guys, Dan from Old Mr. Great back with a video I haven't done for a while, reading your comments. This is something I like to do now and again. It's, you know, this video is still coming, don't worry. But this is something I like to do now and again to try and catch up with your comments because there's only so much typing I can do <laughs> in uh, in a, like a week because I get comment after comment and I try to respond to as many as I can. Sometimes I can't. And sometimes I can't express myself like the way I want to because I like to talk instead of to type. I haven't done a comments video for almost three months, two months, two months, I think. I don't know. So I thought I'd go through some of them, try and answer them as much as I can or as good as I can. And um, like I always say, I like to read the good comments. I like to read the bad comments because I take all criticism. I take it. <laughs> but before we go, quick happy birthday to Miss Catlifer. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear cat lover. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> I'm going to try and go through as many comments as I can. Might be a long video, who knows. <laughs> these do turn, tend to come out a bit long, but uh, we'll see what we can see. And these are in no particular order. So I'm just going to read off and see how it goes. By the way, I forgot. Look at this. It's a baby yoga. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm a Star Wars nerd. Can you tell? But yeah, here's a new collection to go on the shelf behind me. Little baby yoda. Look how awesome he is. Brilliant. Anyway, digressing like hell. Uh, Brett Hish says, and he comments on my necrophonic uh, video I recently did. Has anyone used this app in Australia? I bet there's no Aussie accent in that shit, Rich. <laughs> no, um, a lot of you commented, and yeah, it's, I agree. That on the, in the, when I was just letting it go, the Necrophonic app, I've uninstalled it now. <laughs> but when I was just letting it spout off, it was always in American accents. Weird. That app is, it's, it's a soundboard app. It's, a, it's an audio bank app. I mean, if people enjoy using it, it's fine, but I I didn't find anything at all with it. <laughs> and yeah, a lot of you commenting, why does it have an American accent in the Welsh Valleys? Because I live in the Welsh Valleys. For those who don't know, the, the area you saw me up on top of the mountain, I, it is literally a mile, up, well, about two miles up the road that way. I live in a mountainous area, so... I didn't have to go far, but as soon as I got to the top, I was the middle of nowhere. Technically. Technically. Uh, Visa. Or Visa. Visa, I'm going to say. Um, commented on one of my debunking videos and asked, or said, If spirits don't have lungs and brains or eyes or mouth, how can they speak, touch, hear or see? Also, you can hear footsteps. I'm pretty sure shadow or energy is not that heavy to make footstep sounds. <laughs> I mean, they have a point. They have a point. Whenever you hear footsteps, or like, I don't know, a knocking, what's rapid, What's knocking that piece of wood? There's nothing knocking it. I mean, you'll get a lot of people say, well, it's residual sounds, residual energy, is what they call it. But yeah, it's, it's quite funny. <laughs> I, I get your point, and I see what you're saying. Carl Dutton says, and he um, commented on the Flat Earth one, which I really enjoyed doing, by the way. I got a copyright on it for the Oakla. Oh! Oklahoma when the wind comes sweeping down a plane. <laughs> I don't know why I just sang that. I love that song. Ever since I did that intro. <laughs> I did that intro obviously as a joke. But ever since that intro, I've genuinely been listening to the soundtrack. I, lo I love it. I think it's bloody great. I've been singing in work. I've been singing in the car. I can't get away from it. But he says, or Carl, yeah, yeah. He says, um... A good question for those who think the Earth is flat would be, what do you think is under the Earth? They'll probably say Mordor or something like the XDD or something like that. Sorry, right? <laughs> I can't read. But um, but yeah, this is. <laughs> I've never seen what um, they say. Uh, the flat Earthers say about this, and I mean, they say a lot of things like above the Earth. Earth. I'm just because I'm reading over there, flat Earth, Earth. Above the earth, they, they say there's like a firmament, like a dome or something. <laughs> and I'm sure I saw a while back some video of um, a rocket launch. And because it failed when it got to a certain height, everyone's like, see, it hit the firmament dome. 
<laughs> I didn't hear no donk. But anyway. But I never hear anyone on any of the flat earthers try to explain what could be underneath the earth. What could be underneath the earth? I mean, what was it the Bible or something else uh, um, which says there's like a tortoise, tortoise underneath it? Held up by four elements? I don't know. I, I've gone off memory. I have no idea. But yeah, I've never heard that answer when it comes to flat earth. Everyone assumes or thinks they know what's above the earth. But what's underneath the earth? I don't know. <laughs> I just thought that was an interesting question. Nobody ever, ever asks what's under the earth. Uh, Teresa Shamrock says, and again on the Necrophonic uh, video I did, Your version is way different from all the BS ghost channels. Your version shows proof that these ghost channels are definitely editing their videos when using the shitbox. <laughs> when a ghost channel has a shitbox, it's answering insane names, etc. I can never make out the toilet box says besides the shits. <laughs> yeah, not counting the Necrophonic app. This is why I always say whenever... And this will go into that Craigman spirit box video when I eventually make it. When you, um, I've said this many times, but when, when people do EVP sessions, like uh, make a video about it, or like a necrophonic, I suppose, uh, like a spirit box session. If you listen to the entire video without watching it, and try and make out what words they say. A lot of it is gibberish, a lot of it is completely different to what it sounds like on screen. And then you only think it says something, it's called audible, audible pareidolia, by the way. But you only think it says what it say, what they say it, it says when they put the word up on the screen. It's I get I I challenge you, challenge you to um, watch any EVP video or spirit box session video. Turn away from the screen or you know blacken the screen, whatever, and listen to it and try and write down what you think they're saying, and then go back and watch the video and see if you, your words match up. I'm gonna say they won't. <laughs> Ninety percent of them won't anyway, but yeah, good comments. <laughs> Brethlin, I I always say Brethlin in the Welsh version. I don't know if that is how you pronounce his name, but Brelin Muldoon or Brech Brechlin. I'm gonna say it's Brechlin. It's got a double L. It's got a double L with the Y. It's Welsh. But anyway, he says, and again on the necrophonic uh, video, he was because I asked people to comment down below what you think they were saying. So he says, first spot I heard was anger. Don't. Is it tight? Second spot, that dim sun sound. Dim sum sound. Again, heard Ford. Hey, I'm wearing a Ford t-shirt. Was I wearing it on that day? I can't remember. What and lots of fast sounds. Third spot, hello. I need food, beer, absent. <laughs> Bring back. They were pretty much the words I was saying when I was furloughed back in the back in the summer of last year. Bring beer. I need food. <laughs> Bring back. Pretty much what I was shouting all the time on furlough. Uh, could easily be spewing out words. All words that might sound like words. I'm matrix matrixing with my ears like we do with seeing faces in random spheres. Again, going on the pareidolia thing. You have visual pareidolia where you constantly see or your brain knows how to, or tries to make out eyes, nose, mouth, when you see any like patterns on the wall, patterns in the water, that's visual pareidolia. And again, like I said, unless you put those texts up with the words, that's audible pareidolia. And yeah. <laughs> uh, Pigrat commented on the one where I'd done the Huff Paranormal and Cody ITC uh, video. Yeah, I've decided I'm not going to get involved in all the drama shit now, the oh my gosh stuff. It's, I can't be bothered. But uh, he, they say, soon the entire paranormal com community will be doing your job for you. Slapped ham against Nuke's top five. Chills debunking himself, he'll be crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I don't know what's going on in the paranormal, paranormal world right now. It's like everyone's fighting each other. Everyone's fighting each other. You got Omar Gosh and his crew against uh, Patty G team. Uh, you got Huff Paranormal against Cody ITC and Hope Paranormal. I'm not going to get into any of that now because I can't be bothered. But yeah, it, it, everyone's fighting each other. It's crazy what's going on. <laughs> you know, but um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with January 2021. The, everyone's fighting each other. It's funny. But anyway. Uh, Inquisition Hellfire says, again on the Huff video. Love your channel. Always a good watch. I believe in the paranormal, but in this day and age, it's too much bullshit to be credible. Keep up the good work. I love your humor and the silly music in the background. As an amateur video editor in my spare time, I totally agree and enjoy it when you recreate things yourself. Good times. Uh, thank you for the comment. 
Um, yeah, like I, like I always say, I, I, I repeat myself over and over. As sometimes people say I talk too much. Hey, well, it's just where I am. But yeah, I do try to keep these fun. I don't, like, you know, other channels sometimes do. They take it away more serious. And they go bloody, they go on the attack and they get attacked. I sometimes get attacked in the comments, but I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, I, I try to keep these fun. I, I, I'm... I, I've said before, I don't make these debunking videos to be an absolute asshole. Maybe sometimes I come across like that, but I don't mean to. You know, I'm just pointing out video trickery and deceit. That's all I do. I don't go personal into it. I don't, like, look at the lies. Oh, look, he got arrested that one time. Look at him, scumbag. I don't do that. I just I just enjoy making fun videos. Um, I've made the odd occasional one or two serious ones, but... Uh, not anymore <laughs> but yeah I, I enjoy making fun videos i've been doing youtube for almost when did i start doing this 2014 well it's technically 2012 i started making um youtube videos but you'll never see that channel because it was part of my 3d animation stuff but um but yeah like when it came to this particular channel i made this in 2014 started off as gaming Again, always fun. I played horror games. I might be bringing, bringing, bringing back some horror games, by the way, or games in general. The odd one or two, we'll see what happens. But yeah, I just enjoy making fun videos. You know, life is shit enough without having to be serious against other YouTubers or people in the comments. <laughs> so yeah, that, I appreciate the comment. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, Look, Fish Lamp says, and they commented on my one of my earlier debunking videos. That was an old one. Um, they say, if all these ghost videos had your background banjo music, they wouldn't need debunking. <laughs> I'm assuming they're saying because it makes it fun. Because um, I've had a few people comment, and I love these kind of comments. I've had a few people comment saying, my, uh, me and my kids have been watching your videos, and now my kids debunk everything because they find it fun because they watch your videos. I love that. I love that. I, I love the fact that... It gets kids into critical thinking and maybe they won't be so scared at night when they're watching like the Slat Ham videos or the Nukes Top 5 videos. Because, you know, like I said, <laughs> you put the banjo music on it, you have a bit of fun with it, it's no longer scary. And I love that kind of comment. I do, I, and I always appreciate those comments. I've had quite a few of them. Yeah, I love it. I appreciate it. And yeah, banjo music for the world. <laughs> for, for the win, I should say. Uh, J Paranormal says, and they commented on the, when I put a comment up the other day about people. <laughs> people commented that I talk too much. It's like, first of all, you must be new here. <laughs> and I, the, the guy, I, before I read this comment, the guy who said that comment, I answered him back. I can't remember where he was. I was having a back and forth, a little bit of banter. He suddenly came out and said, I only watched the first minute. Well, well, bloody hell, you gotta, you got to get past the first bloody minute of the video, man. Come on, how, how can you how can you decide on what's, what, on the first one minute of a video? In his defense, I probably spoke way too much in that one minute, but he don't know what I'd done after that minute. I could have sang an entire medley of songs in that one minute. He just, he'll never know, no, because he, 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 he shut off after that. But anyway, I'm going on. All right, Jay Paranormal says, I actually like you talking a lot in your videos. Thank God. I can totally relate. Most of the videos I've come across are utter bollocks, and I cannot believe people fall for them. Don't change your style of videos and content because people say, say you talk too much. I'll never st change my style. Um, this is this is me and my style. This is this is stuff I enjoy doing. Um, when I, I sometimes uh, comment... Or oh, I say in a video, oh, this guy has said really mean stuff about me. Trust me. Trust me. I don't care one bit. <laughs> I've grown up a ginge. I had a lot of stick when I was younger. I had to stick up for myself eventually. So I've learned to uh, take the words. Take the words and it's like water off a duck's back when it comes to me. Don't worry about it. But I appreciate the concern. <laughs> uh, Marcel. Marceline, sorry. Choin. Choisen. I do apologize, I'm butchering your surname. But they say again on the Flat Earth uh, video I did uh, Flat Earth, that's so stupid. But you can't discuss with a Flat Earther. You can provide them with all the proofs. You're always a sheep following another sheep to them. 
I think these people need to feel special, but don't have enough culture and personality. For some, the earth is flat, hollow, and inhabited by giants. Um, yeah, I, I agree. Um, I've, I've seen many flat earth videos. Um, like I said, I follow a few um, flat earth debate channels, I, so, I suppose you could say. Simon Dan, um, Conspiracy Cats, Creepy Blinder, a few others I can't remember. But yeah, you... You can't debate a flat earther. Now, look, I'm not having to go at any flat earthers. If you believe in that, it's up to you. But you can't debate them. They will try. <laughs> they come up with the same pieces of information, not wrong information, by the way, that they will try and uh, debate with you. When you show them to be wrong, that's it. They're like, oh, you're wrong. You're a globetard. You're a sheep. And yeah, you you just can't. It's, it's unfortunate, but it's just, the way, <laughs> it's just the way it is. And I recently found out. Now, I didn't know this about Flat Earth, because I did that Flat Earth video and I, I went through the questionnaire part of the Flat Earth Society official page. And I didn't know after, until after I made that video that apparently that page was made up for as a joke at first and then got taken over by hardcore Flat Earthers. And there's another group, I can't remember what they're called, there's another like big Flat Earth community. I think they were the ones who were on that Behind the Curve documentary. They, they have, uh, no, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? They've come out now and sort of like, we don't associate with that Flat Earth Society. We are the real Flat Earthers, not them. So again, they are fighting each other now. The Flat Earthers are fighting each other. It's a, it's a civil war in Flat Earth Society. <laughs> I just, oh, it makes me laugh. All this fighting in between, you know, like, you're, I'm not fake, you are fake. I'm not, I'm real, you are fake. Two fakers fighting each other, and then you got two flat earthers fighting each other, and everyone else is just standing outside watching, eating. It's brilliant. I love it. <laughs> By the way, I just realised I still have not sorted my insane eyebrows out. <laughs> when I got like a woolly hat on, like I did in that necker one, the the um, what's the word? Accentuate my, my eyebrows. <laughs> they make them look even more crazy, like a bloody barn owl. <laughs> Um, Daniel Scurry, no, this is about Franco TV, but don't worry, Kayla, I'm just reading out a comment, okay? <laughs> don't panic. Daniel Scurry, Squeery, it's not Squeery, is it? Sque I, sorry, I do apologize about you saying I'm butchering it. But they say, and they're talking about one of the earlier debunks they did on Franco TV with the, the shadow thing pop, poking his head out of the vault and he's putting the, the light down. But um, they comment, the very first Franco TV clip you show should have an empty vault in the corner around the entrance where the peekaboo ghost slipped out of sight. I didn't know that. I did not know that. I can't remember where that mausoleum cemetery is, but they, this Daniel obviously knows. And yeah, apparently there was uh, an empty vault in the corner behind, so you could s slip through the entrance out the back way. I didn't know that. I just thought that was interesting to point out. <laughs> I'm not bashing Franco. Don't worry, I'm not bashing him. I'm just, I'm just pointing something out. Uh, Sandurka says, and she, they, they uh, commented on the one where I showed Tim Morris off and Dark Ghost Paranormal to have disclaimers. Um, but they commented, fake or not, they have great videos and they are good actors. I love watching horror movies, although I know they aren't real. So I think that Tim and Dennis are doing an amazing job. I mean, I sort of agree. They... <laughs> They, they are good at what they do. I'll, I'll admit, they are good at what they do and they tell a good story, I suppose, in their videos because out of all the other kind of paranormal investigators who fake a lot of stuff, they are the best, if you ask me. I do believe they are the best. The other ones, they like cheesy shit. But they do they do creepy atmosphere very well, if you ask me. I mean, I don't know what they're saying half the time. They're saying Russian and sometimes the subtitles don't match up. But... I, I, I still enjoy their videos. I, you know, I'll never go to a debunking uh, video about them anymore because it doesn't need to. But, but yeah, I, I agree. You know, they, they're good at what they do. Entertaining, I suppose. But it's bollocks. But it is good. <laughs> uh, Jay Mommy says, and uh, she, she comments on the second ever debunking video I've, I've ever done. Second. De <laughs> My grammar is amazing sometimes. The second debunking video I ever did, done, I don't know anymore. Anyway, 
comment, what about the Jin sightings? Can you please do a video about the Jordanian ghost hunters unless you already did? Most intriguing to me is the ones with the flashlight and the mirror tricks. Um, I appreciate the comment, Jmon. I've done, I've done, I think I've done, I've done many videos on those uh, Jordanian ghost hunters, the Egyptian uh, ghost hunters, the Bismillah dudes, we call them. Because <laughs> they're constantly kicking in doors and throwing stuff and Bismillah and stuff like that. And yeah, the uh, flashlight with the mirror tricks, I'm sure I've covered that. I may cover it in a future video, but I, th I think I've already covered it. And I've, I've even seen a few videos. It's so funny. When they do, have I got a torch nearby? A trusty old torch. I think it's run out of batteries. Yes, it has. Or anyway, when they're in the mirror and they're doing the, um, they put the torch in the mirror, don't they? And all of a sudden they can see something behind them. So they put the torch down and they're like, oh my God. But then I've seen, I've seen one video where they're doing that. It's one of the big Jordanian channels as well, or Egyptian channels. When they're doing that and they see the shadow around, they turn around but they don't quite get their camera angle right and you can see him just duck down behind him it's funny it's funny but yeah <laughs> it's, it's, it's bollocks and i think the top 10 channels now they were pushing those um bismillah videos a, a lot uh, during the middle of last year they've seemed to have died down a bit now but but yeah they were everywhere at one point they're all bollocks by the way just 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 so you know <laughs> oh by the way <laughs> <laughs> it just, it just remind me, never, ever, name one of your videos YouTube Rewind. People don't like that. <laughs> I don't usually, I had to change the bloody name on that video. I don't usually care about uh, dislikes, I really don't. Like, I'll get the odd one or two every single video, it doesn't matter. But to that one, within like two minutes, I got, I got about 12 or 13 dislikes, instantly. It's like, oh shit. People don't like it when you call them YouTube Rewinds for some reason. I was joking, people. I'm bloody joking. I thought it was funny. Right, I'm going to read this comment out. I'm not going to mention their name just in case they don't want to because it's, it's a bit personal. But I am going to read it out because I do like the comment. Um, Happy New Year. Thank you for all the great videos. Watching this, watching has helped me get through some diff very difficult times as well as helped me battle my depression because I will never let it win. Good. I hope not. Your videos are not only very well done, but often very funny and make me laugh. Seriously, you've helped in such a positive way. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. You've helped me kick this spirit called depression's ass. And congratulations on reaching 4,000 subs. Wishing you many, many more subscribers when the, the coming new year. Um, see, that's like I said, that's the kind of a comment I really appreciate. And I, I'm so happy that my little goofy, stupid videos will help a few people with you know in down times dark times whatever you want to call it but yeah I, I i appreciate that comment and i thank you for it and yeah by the way i forgot it i finally hit 4,000 subs i completely forgot about that thank you for everyone who subbed by the way um tammy armstrong again is commenting on the um dark horse dark horse paranormal tim morisoff disclaimer video i made um she says i was told that tim has a disclaimer on his video at the beginning saying it's fake can't say yes or no as I don't speak, read or understand Russian. I found Tim about a month ago and was intrigued not by the not by the paranormal court, but by his storytelling. This guy is wasting his time on YouTube videos and should be writing horror stories or movies. He really does tell a good story, even though it's fiction. That is as far as I'm willing to go with sticking up for fake crap. The guy is good at what he does. It it's it's good as a nighttime goosebump bedtime story. Exactly. Like I said, they, they do tell a good story and I think they could do well with writing a cool bloody um, horror movie. It's, it's, you, some of you might know, some of you might not. <laughs> some of you might have seen my shitty little uh, short videos. I, I love filmmaking. It's something I've done for years. A lot of the stuff you, you'll never see because it's not on YouTube, but I have put some little funny little things up on YouTube. Well, I think they're funny anyway. But I do like filmmaking, and I agree. I think they would make an excellent horror film, like a found footage style horror film. It's something I've always wanted to do. One day, I hopefully will be able to do that. But yeah, I think I think they'd make an extra excellent um, horror film, like a found footage, you know, out in the forest of the the Russian bloody forests, in the creepy houses they go to. A little ghost story. I think it'd be excellent. I agree. <laughs> Hunter Casper, and I, I'm not going to go with this comment, by the way. I'm just going to read it out and comment on it. Uh, they they commented on one of my... Deep, oh, the Pantry Ghost uh, debunk I did. And they say, 
I don't know if what I see on these videos are real or not. I can't help but believe because as a child I was subject subjected to the paranormal. Most compelling is the ghost of Carmel Main. How can you debunk Kent's videos featuring the Shadow Dude? Now, like I, I always say, um, as far as like subjected as a child to the paranormal, I always say I can never debunk that. I'm not even going to try and debunk. That's personal stuff to the person who experiences it. I wasn't there, so I don't know. But the ghost of Carmel Main stuff, I have covered him in the past. Almost a year ago now, thinking about it. And he uses a lot of string, a lot of, um, uh, how can I say it, a lot, of, a lot of overexposed camera footage, along with a low ISO on the camera setting. So you, when he, you see the shadow dude in his bedroom, you only see the front all in shade and the, the, cur the, the windows behind him are so blown out with light, you can't see any detail there. It's a person. <laughs> if you want to believe this a real shadow dude, it's up to you, but... But it's not. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, just an observation says, and they commented on the top five scariest ghost videos I find genuinely creepy, but still at the bollocks. <laughs> I think I did it for Halloween last year. And they commented, the scariest thing in this video is that t-shirt. Not this one. I was wearing um, uh, the Star Wars Rise of Skywalker t-shirts. <laughs> Look, I, I do wear some questionable uh, t-shirts when it comes to that kind of thing. I get those t-shirts both for me. My um, my nieces usually buy those Star Wars t-shirts for my sister because they know I like Star Wars. They don't watch the films, but they know I like Star Wars. <laughs> so when they buy them, I'm going to wear them. And I, I like the t-shirts. <laughs> Even though the film was... Ripped. But yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. This is an odd comment when I saw it. So I have to bring it up. I like it. It's fine, if, if if that's what you want to think, but it's fine. And they commented on my ball lightning one, the, the second video I did it over a year ago, and I don't know why, <laughs> I assume it was a mistake. But Janet Broussard said, Thank you, Rick, for debunking Tim Morozov and Dark par uh, Ghost Paranormal. Now, first of all, <laughs> I'd like to point out it was me first. It doesn't matter anyway, but I, you know, I... I I, I love Rick the Bunks, I love the shape and all that, but it was me just pointing that out. It's just they get more traction because they got more subs, which is fine. I'm not having a go. But I don't know why that comment was on the ball lightning video. <laughs> I'm assuming it was a mistake and that's fine, but I just thought it was a funny comment. Uh, Jimmy Doyle says, and he commented on the uh, compilation video is too stupid to be real video I did but um, uh, for Christmas. And they said, and I don't know what video they commented on, but I'm assuming they didn't like something in that compilation, so they've commented here. Uh, they say, 20 years ago, a young woman was knocked down on the back road up to a town 13 miles from my hometown. There have been countless eyewitnesses to seeing her. That includes my father and I. The word ghost is inaccurate. They are still people, dead, but they are still people. You show them the same respect you show to living people. If you don't, they will react the same as a living person. Look at the Japanese or Indian ghost hunting to see the results of disrespect. My friends and I have encountered a number of spirits. They can see us, but we cannot see them. Unless they want you to. The reason for that is they are a fraction out of phase with our reality. Space and time are shorter, much shorter than theirs. That's why they can move so fast and cover a large area. I feel sorry for people who don't believe because if an encounter ever happens to them, they will be terrified. Now, a couple of things. Um, I, I've always said I'd like to see one, just just to prove to myself if I did. I, maybe I would poop my pants. I don't know. I hopefully, fingers crossed, I wouldn't. But you know, just as um, what's it called? Peace of mind, maybe. But anyway. But the other thing, uh, they can see us, but we cannot see them unless they want to. The reason for that is they are a fraction out of phase with us reality. Space and time are much shorter in theirs. How do we know that? Who 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 said that first? Now. <laughs> I'm not having to go with Jimmy Doyle, he's just repeating something. But who said that first? I'd love to find out who said that first. Who came up with that first? That space and time is shorter than theirs in their reality and they phase out of reality. I love it. It's some Star Trek shit. I love that. <laughs> but I want to know who came up with that first. Who came up with that first? Who found that out first? I want to know. Leave a comment down below if you know, because I want to know. <laughs> Linda Carroll again is uh, counting on Dark Horse Panel Tim Morrisoff uh, video. And this was before I made that half paranormal Cody ITC video, by the way. 
but they say have paranormal will, look, will you look into that i have already but um he made some kind of odd looking spirit box that he's supposed to talk to charles manson and others it's it and others it even sounds real that one kind of scared me, but I'd just love for you to go check it on it. Um, yeah, that's like I said, I'm not going to do the drama of that. They're exposing each other right now. If you want to go check that out, go to Half Paranormal, uh, Hope Paranormal, and Cody ITC. Go check out all the channels. They're all having a big old fisty cuffs. But um, but yeah, the, the the spirit box which Huff does and the other people do is they're always celebrities. Um, I think they've done the odd one or two where it's like for people, but they charge you for them. I don't know how much, but they charge quite a bit, apparently. But yeah, it's always celebrities. And it's always rappers. I don't care. It's always rappers. <laughs> I don't know why they do it. They do it a lot with rappers. They've done it with a few people which really pissed me off, which I'm not going to get into right now. But they seriously pissed me off. But yeah, um, yeah, it's always it's, it's always famous people. And it's always within a day or two of them passing away, which I just think is highly disrespectful. But I'm going to move on before I get annoyed and start swearing. <laughs> Thank you for the comment. Uh, Barbara Payne says, I can't, oh yeah, they, <laughs> they commented, yeah, this is funny, by the way, I put a comment up the other, a couple of weeks back that my biggest fan was back and it was Kayla, the one who uh, wholeheartedly defended Franco TV against me in the comments on the video I made almost eight months ago, eight months ago, I'm sure it was that long, but they, the Kayla came back like a week or so ago. I just started having a go at me again in the same video from eight months ago. <laughs> and I commented back, you again? I found it funny. But but anyway, that's what I, I put it up in the community page because I thought it was funny. So Barbara Payne comments on that. Uh, Mr. Grey opened my eyes to Franco, but I still watch him. I know his shit is fake, but still interesting to me. If he ever makes a scary movie, I will definitely watch it. He has skills. He may, he may fake his content, but I believe he is a good person inside. Funny too. Um, I've said this a few times now. Uh, the spirit box stuff, I don't like that, right? I don't like that. I think it's disrespectful. The paranormal investigation stuff, if you go out with genuine genuine intentions and don't fake anything, I'm fine with that. The stuff who fake, I'll debunk them. I'll make a video on them. But I won't, I won't call them a scumbag or, you know, I, well, I don't think they are scumbags, personally, myself. I just think they're making a YouTube video... They've been a bit, you know, um, wishy-washy with the facts. But at the end of the day, they're just making videos. And no, I don't think uh, Franco, Franco was a bad person. I think he seems, comes across anyway, as a decent bloke. I mean, some of his fans, not all of his fans, but some of his fans are hardcore and they will defend him to the, the end of the earth. And that's fine. You, you, you defend your favorite YouTuber. That's just the way it works. But um, yeah, I don't, th I don't think he's a bad person. Um, like I said, I, I'll you know you should watch his videos with a grain of salt. <laughs> Take it with a grain of salt, I should say. But no, I don't think he's a bad person at all. And again, I think he'd be pretty good at making like horror style short films or something like or horror stories. I think he'd be pretty good at that because he's a good filmmaker. Kayla, don't have a go. <laughs> um, right, last comment because this is getting long now. But Denise Saran says, and she's. Commented on the top scariest paranormal videos. Too stupid to be real. The best of the year. Um, but they say, Hey, hey, Dan. I really enjoyed watching this compilation and remembering a whole year of top 10 utter bollocks. Thanks for making me smile, laugh and giggle until I pee my pants. <laughs> when the whole plan still seems to be going shite, thank God we still have you, my friend, to keep us halfway sane. Cheers from Queensland, Australia. Cheers. Um, I appreciate the comments. I, like I said, I like those comments. I appreciate them. Even though I, I still respond to the bad comments, I appreciate the good comments. Why wouldn't I? But um, yeah, I'm glad you've been able to smile, laugh and giggle and then hopefully not pee your pants too much. But <laughs> but I appreciate it. And yeah, I've, I've had a hell of a year. I, I've really enjoyed um, the year. But anyway, <sighs> that's it. Like I said, I haven't done a comments video for a while. So this was probably a long one. We'll have to see when I edit it down. Um, Baby Google says thank you. And yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think of the comments I just read for the comments. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like uh, if you like this video. Leave a sub if you're new to my channel. I do these quite often. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.